I was asked to come up with a dissolve effect and this is the result and I'm going to show you how to do it. This should be able to work on any object. So let's make a new material. Now the key idea of this is to use this alpha alpha node here. Okay. And the way we're going to control this is we're going to get a texture and we're going to use a noise texture. And so this looks just like this. Now we don't want to normalize this. So let's untick that. So we've got the, uh, it's like a bit, uh, a wider range of contrast. What we can do if we move the fac into the alpha, we can see there we have kind of like a cloudy look. So what we can do here is come across to the converter and then math, stick that in there and we can change that to less than. And now if we start at say a value of one, we can then animate this and it will literally between, well, I guess it's negative 0.1 and one, it'll essentially like dissolve. See? And so you can, you can change the scale. If you want like smaller chunks of dissolving, but um, I kind of like it big and chunky like that. So that's kind of like the basic idea, but it's kind of a little bit basic. The basic idea is surprisingly basic. So what I want to do is add like a glow around the edge so that it looks like it's pure energy that's dissolving this. Um, it might take a little bit of trial and error, but um, let's give it a shot. So what I want to do is I'm going to add in a value just to keep things nice and neat. Then I'm going to add in, I'm going to duplicate this actually. I'm just going to grab this. Then I'm going to duplicate this again and I'm going to subtract. I'm going to take this value, pop it into here and then this value and put it into here. And then I'm just going to change this to 0.1. Okay. So this one will represent the thickness of the, of the burn. So if I take this and plug it into there, just like that and take the fact from the noise check texture and plug it into there. I think we change this to actually change that to greater than now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a mask out of these two. So I'm basically going to combine these together. I want one of these to be a white value and one of these to be black value. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag this into invert node and invert the color. I'm going to change all the white values to white and black values. I mean the white values to black and the black to white. And then I think if we add in a color mix color, we can plug this to here. And then we can plug this one into here. If we preview this, yeah, so we can see here that these two nodes are kind of stacking on top of each other. We can, we can see it's got like an edge and it's just simply because we're just offsetting the value of this one here, which we can control like this. Okay. So we can leave it nice and small if we want, or a little bit bigger, leave it at point two ish for the minute. So now what we can do is we can use this to drive another mix node, but this one needs to plug into the factor and change. But this one will be our, our basic color. So this is the, whatever color you, if you had like a UV texture or some other texture to your object, that's what this would feed into. So I'm just going to leave this as white for the minute, but that could literally be anything. Um, and so this one's going to be the color of our burn. So we can just make that like a bright orange, perhaps, or a dark orange, maybe. So now this can plug into the base color. So we can see there when we plug it back into the shader, we have this, this kind of burn going on. What we can also do, we can take that and put it into the color. Well, so it'll actually give us an emission. 
of the same colors and we can take mix result and plug that into the strength and then we can add in a map range so what this is doing is so the the values coming out of this one are going to range from zero to one and so without this map range in there the strength is going to be no greater than one so the map range is what we're just basically doing is saying okay we're taking that zero to one range and make it zero to five instead add a little bit of glow it's up to you i mean maybe two perhaps let's just make this a little bit smaller i think and it would help if i remembered to change the uh the factor to one because <laughs> otherwise it's just kind of like mixing the two colors together there we go much nicer so now it's just a case of say taking this from the value of one and then we can animate that with keyframe let me just bring up my timeline horizontal splits and then i'm just going to shift f12 to change that to the timeline shift f12 again and then maybe we want to dissolve this over like one second perhaps so what we can do is we can change this down to like, I think negative 1.1 is what works for this. And we'll keyframe that. I think when rendered, that'll work actually. Okay, I was just messing around just, just now and I added this new Gabor texture into the vector mapping of the noise texture. And I animated this anisotropy property here as well. And Kind of looks like sort of a magical sci-fi kind of dissolve. It's so cool. So there we go. That is the the shader in full. It's a bit spaghetti. So I do apologize that it's so messy like that. Maybe a simpler way to do this, but this is just kind of what came to my head just now. Um the files for this are available on my Discord to members. So if you want to join the channel and get access to stuff like this, then then hit that uh, join button down below and uh, you'll be redirected to the Discord with the files. So hopefully that helps. Any questions, drop them in the comments.